All right, we are here with the Ford Bronco, and we've owned Ford Broncos, three now in total, for two and a half years. And we're here to talk to you about what we've liked, what we've disliked, things you should know to help you out so that you're prepared, and a few differences between the original models the 2023s and the 2024s. So there have been some very nice changes for the 2024s. We're not disappointed at all with this Ford Bronco Wild Track 2023. Actually, we love Ford Broncos enough that we've already owned two prior. Marie had her Outer Banks Sasquatch package. That was a high package because Marie needed that those heated seats because originally Marie, Marie wasn't thrilled, that's the wife, wasn't thrilled with the Ford Bronco Badlands because I got, I got it straight. I got the Badlands, no Sasquatch package, which she didn't mind. Loves the mags on the original, bad, on the Badlands. There's no keyless entry, no heated seats. So we do recommend, we're gonna, let's talk about the differences here and then we'll get to talk about, talking about what we like and dislike. This is peer reviewed by Marie Pierre. So before we get started, please do hit the like button, share this video and do subscribe so you don't miss out as we cover all sorts of Ford products, the occasional non-Ford product, product and we have a week or bi-weekly live. So let's just jump right in. This is your 2023 Ford Bronco Wild Track with not just, not the Sasquatch suspension, that's considered Haas 2.0. We had that on our 2021 Bronco Outer Banks and the Haas 2.0 did a very good job. It's a very good, happy medium between off-road capability, we jumped it, jumped it through the fields, great landing on that. Just like our Badlands, the Haas 2.0 really does the trick. Don't think you have to upgrade to the Haas 3.0. Now, this is kind of a little silly because I, you know, I'm being a Jeep guy, parked it in on a little angle on a snowbank. We've actually off road these quite a bit. Of course, we did the Bronco off rodeo, which we highly suggest. The instructors are incredible. But, folks, you don't need the Haas 3.0. And I'm not convinced the Haas 3.0 suspension is really worth the extra money above a Badlands. But let's talk about those different models. We think that the Black Diamond is an incredible off road package. And if you want to go extreme off roading, obviously get the badlands the wild track you could say is more of your you know field jumper or driving through the whoops uh, through the desert and driving over the whoops the high speed off-roading i consider the wild track now as of 20 2023 with the haas 3.0 suspension essentially this is a baby or little brother Raptor, Bronco Raptor now the Bronco Raptor we never really considered it all that much as getting it to get it as a model because we weren't thrilled with the excessively large fenders visually our favorite model is actually the Everglades but here's the thing the Ford Bronco Everglades absolutely love it best styling love the snorkel love the winch love everything about it however the 2.3 liter it is an excellent motor offers plenty of power and is almost in a straight line is almost as fast as the 2.7 liter and actually with a bit of tuning is faster than the 2.7 liter but here's the thing we love the 2.7 liter v6 because it's both port injected and direct injection so long term this is going to lead to less carbon build well no carbon buildup because the port injection actually cleans out all that mess and carbon that the direct injection creates so long term I find it's a more reliable setup but we love the low-end torque and of course no matter what Bronco you get you don't a V8 would be great but we do love the blow off valve adapter so we also will talk a bit about of our, our accessories that we added on the must-haves so let's check some of those out right now let's talk some of the must-have accessories you absolutely need these mud flaps or mud guards because yes even with them the vehicle gets pretty dirty and stone chipped but uh, it's really to protect you against the stone chips it'll still get dirty but stone chips are reduced greatly you can get a nice set from WeatherTech these don't actually fit very well but WeatherTech actually makes a package that fits on the Sasquatch these are my winter wheels that's why you're there your regular Sasquatch wheels here's the 3.0 Haas 3.0 suspension it's beefier and it is just amazing at absorbing bumps has the reservoir on the side 
Dexter Reservoir. Of course, you have a more beefed up suspension, beefed up tie rods. This is great. Really recommend the metal, the steel front bumper, full steel. That way, if anyone backs into you or you drive into someone, you've got better protection. Love the wild track grill. So our Badlands really did the trick. We drove through fields, jumped the Bronco Badlands, and we now know that the Haas 3.0 is more suspension than we need. Really like the Black Diamond as the Black Diamond actually has a steel back bumper. But look at that big, thick Haas 3.0 suspension. Now, oddly, the Wild Track has the suspension, has the interior that we like the least. Really love this right here. Keyless entry, do recommend a high package. Now it's great for the 2024s. Most models won't come with carpet, so your outer banks is still gonna come with carpet. So is your Wild Track because they're considered the higher end models. But the, all the other models are gonna come with a rubberized floor with a drain plug underneath. So carpet's not great if you're gonna go off-roading. Uh, nice little option. Add the molded rubberized floor mats. They're great like the ones from Ford because they're rubberized so they give you good grip. Now I'm not sure about the Bronco Wild Track interior. It's a weird mix of colors. You've got the blue, you've got the gray. Our favorite interior is actually the Badlands interior, but we do like the Outer Banks that we had because you had at least a choice of two colors, the black and the brown or the kind of the gray and the uh, the gray and black. But the Badlands, Matty and I's favorite interior because it's black and orange, looks the best. Now there's that screen, 2024, major option, chasing Jeep, trying to, you know, match Jeep. You've got the 12 inch screen. So these screens are actually really nice. Now, long-term, I'm not too worried about them. At the dealership, we haven't had to claim very many of these. We haven't had to claim very many of these screens. Now you do want to get your Bronco, if you're gonna do a little bit of off-roading, make sure you got the rear locking diff. So black diamond, great option because you've got the steel real bump steer steel rear bumper. Sorry, that was a mouthful. And you can lock that rear diff. Now, do get a model with the rear diff, but on your higher trim models, you can also get them. If you get them Sasquatch, you can lock the front and rear diff. And of course, Wild Track, you can lock the front and rear diff. Now, the difference here is if it was a Badlands. You wouldn't have that little space left over. You'd have the uh, the stabilizer. You'd have the front stabilizer disconnect. You'd have the front stabilizer bar disconnect if we had a Badlands, but we're not doing any insane rock crawling with our own Bronco. We saved that for the Bronco off rodeos. And of course you got trail turn assist right here. You can lock the rear wheel by turning that steering wheel completely to the direction you wanna lock the rear wheel in. And when the rear wheel is locked, well, you turn on a dime. Now in the video, we'll also talk about, love these little grab handles. We'll also talk about the differences with these tops from 2021 to 2023 and how we actually haven't had any issues whatsoever. Of course, for 2024, the base model is gone. But there's a whole lot more value with these 2024s because they come standard with a 12 inch screen. So if that's your thing, great. We do lose cloth seats. Ford does a good job with the leather and vinyl seats, but cloth seats are gone, folks. So if, <laughs> if that's a problem for you, you can always get one of these used. Uh, but make sure the per person hasn't beaten them too much. Inspect underneath. Now things we've also gotten, of course, it's just for the thrills. We got the blow off valve adapter under the hood, making great sound, but we did rust proof underneath the entire vehicle. And that's really, really worth it. Really good investment to keep these for the long term. And of course on the hood, let's check this out. You can barely see it, but there is a line here. Look, there's a nice little line here. And that's our plastic wrap front 18 inches, as well as the sides here to avoid stone chips. So let's get into the rest of the video to talk about what some of the things, some of the limitations that the Bronco you should know about. So some of the things that we didn't like 
of course I've made a short about it and uh, these visors when you're driving not fantastic when it comes to how much visibility they actually remove so the visors I think should have made been made at about half the length but mostly love this vehicle so let's just jump right, right in. today we're going to talk about what you can fit in a Ford Bronco or more specifically is a Ford Bronco good for a baby so does the Brett Bronco work for babies well yes it actually does however with some limitation I wouldn't want to be six foot four and have the young baby seat behind us now he probably knows the name of that those I guess rear facing baby seat yeah. so once Layla is older a regular baby seat won't be an issue at all but for now I've got limited room I'm just I, I'd say I'm a little cramped if I'm borderline my knee just barely hits the bottom of the steering wheel column of course I could put I should I'll do that now of course with the Bronco you can adjust your steering wheel not just the height but also you know that makes a huge difference you know, for whatever reason I like to have it up and close and that's the reason right there Bronco's perfect for having a little ledge on the windowsill so I can rest my elbow so yes I can still find a comfortable space by putting the steering wheel higher small sacrifice I now have an inch of space six one six two I could still get by, but 6'3", six, 6'4", six, really starting to have problems. I actually think at 6'4", this wouldn't be doable. Uh, I could always have the seat on the other side, obviously, on Marie's side, but for us, this works because when we drive, Marie can look and check in on the baby because we're not the type of couple that's going to have all sorts of Wi-Fi cameras glued to our dash here to distract us and have a camera spying in on the baby uh, through through Wi-Fi um, frequencies and whatnot but uh, we are old school <laughs> yeah we're, we're old school we'll, we'll use our own eyes uh, love the Bronco the new school Bronco you don't have to have an old school Bronco because the new school Bronco we are loving the suspension this is a wild track so it's the Haas 3.0 so if you want to know more about our wild track Haas 3.0 just catch our videos we'll have more Bronco videos coming out we've had this one for six months and of course this is our third Bronco and this one I want to pay off and keep I really am loving this Bronco the suspension of the Haas 3.0 we got really bad really bad roads in our area and as you can probably see from the camera moving around a little here but the Haas 3.0 does an incredible job of absorbing and that's not to say that the Badlands we had with the straight Sasquatch suspension was bad in any way it was fantastic it's just a little cut above it cost a good amount more getting the wild track now that it comes with Haas 3.0 so if I do to do it again and I wanted a great Bronco and to save some money I'd probably just go with a Badlands and would not Sasquatch the Badlands the 2.7 liter though I have to say the 2.3 liter four-cylinder turbo is a good inline four-cylinder engine it's a great engine no complaints with it whatsoever but I do prefer the 2.7 liter because well it's got a whole lot of power behind the pedal and the 2.3 liter really isn't that much slower and you know in a drag race they're almost the same speed and you can always get a Ford tune you can program reprogram the vehicle on the four cylinder and have it be as fast or faster than 2.7 liter with a few modifications from Ford performance but the 2.7 liter out of the box I love the sound haven't had to change the exhaust yet because it's doing the trick for me a uh, few little add-ons added the handles here we'll have a video coming out for that added the blow-off valve adapter under the hood so a little under $100 mod you know can't call them modifications but add-ons the little Bronco lettering like many people are doing now it's an Outer Banks sorry this is a wild track so we're getting used to the dark blue seats and gray at first we're having a little bit of trouble with it but uh, we've gotten used to it we do prefer both Marie and I the interior of the Badlands uh, being that it's all black with orange stitching and orange handles but we're getting used to this I'm starting to see this more as gr actual gray at first I couldn't get over the fact that to me it looked a little too brown but no I guess it's just my eyes now the soft tops the new soft tops I do want to mention important factor of the new soft tops they must they feel heavier they're better the the sound deadening there's less sound in this and I actually just recently had a couple go out they were completely sold on the idea of getting a hard top 
and they didn't want to try the soft top, no problem. Put them out on the road in a wild track with the hard top. They came back saying, we'd like to try a Badlands. I said, I'm really sorry, our Badlands, we only have them as soft tops. So put them out on the road in a Badlands, soft top. And their comment was, wow, that's a lot better. They found that the sound deadening was actually better on the soft top. So I'm thinking these new soft tops for, I don't know when it started, whether it was 22 or 23, but they're definitely doing a great job with sound deadening. Now, I'm not saying that it's as good as a proper, you know, like a, a Lincoln or anything, or a proper vehicle with a hard roof and full of insulation. Uh, it's definitely, definitely louder, but I can definitely say that this is impressive compared to our first Bronco, which was uh, our first, like a we got that in, what was it? September, 2021, Marie? I guess, yes. Yeah, yeah, September 2021, and that first top was light and noisy enough, but we never had snow come in the winter. You know, we have long winters here, and you know, the couple wanted a hard top because they thought the soft top would be cold in the winter and really, really noisy, and they didn't find it cold at all. We haven't, across our three Broncos, have we've had almost no issues with the top. Now this one came with the back window that was peeling up in a corner so someone could just easily pop out the side and have access to our trunk. But that got covered under Ford warranty. So if you do have any issues with your warranty when you get it, make sure you tell the dealer about it. And some dealers, not all dealers are of the same quality. You might get a dealer that thinks it's not covered, but what I recommend is try with another dealer you can always phone call in ask to speak to service and ask them but anyways our back window starting to in the corner peel up got a new back window we even had a little paint air on the front hood and a very nice thing about Ford is they repainted the hood because there was a little issue with how it got painted at the factory so do go for your claims uh, you'd be surprised what you can claim when the vehicle is new. Make sure you claim things as soon as they come up because once the warranty's done, a lot of people think, well, I'm only, you know, 2,000 miles over. Of course it'll be covered. That's just not how manufacturers work, whether it's Ford, Toyota, or anyone. You really got to be within the correct amount of years or mileage. It's not one, you know, it's not, you know, one or the other. It still has to fit within the years and the mileage. So we're very pleased with the Ford Bronco. Now, Layla, as soon as the vehicle has stopped, she loves her Bronco. All right, now for more, does it fit, does it work, is there enough space? Love the keyless entry on the back handle. Not a lot of vehicles actually have that. They think of the front doors, but not the back. And here, you know, we've got the, the, ba the whatever, the baby carrier. I'm no pro baby pro, this is my first one. So fold it up, and even though I already have some WeatherTech mud flaps which are actually very inexpensive and do a great job of fitting up front even if you have a sasquatch model icy driveway but we can see that even with stuff already in the trunk there's plenty of space here plenty of space and the soft top when you want to get more space in yes of course you got to lift it up like this and then once this is lifted up, you can actually properly get your vacationing suitcases, whatever you might want to throw in there, skis, snowboards, you can actually fit it in. But the stroller fits even when the seats aren't down and even when you already have snow brooms uh, and mud flaps, whatnot, junk in the trunk. So it works even with junk in the trunk, folks. Now, please do subscribe, help this family business out. Hit subscribe, share, and you know that's really how you can help us out help it'll help us feed and dress those poodles and no matter what layla will be fed and dressed anyways but know that you're supporting a family business thank you so much for all your support love this community really appreciate you all thank you